So, now, starting off, I've already changed my party so that I've got all this good stuff. So what I'm going to want to do is balance the budget. So currently, my daily projected balance is 300, negative 300. Okay, let's see what that's like when I raise that. Okay, negative 400. Military spending, I want that up too. That's negative 430. Okay. So what I can do to uh, off off place that, offset that, is increase my tariffs. That will get me more money. I'm still running a deficit though. So uh, once this clears up, I'll be able to. Um, so if I if I play a day, then I'll be able to uh, increase this stuff. We'll do that in a second. Also, you, I'm gonna want to move my naval spending down and my army spending. So how the army spending works so this is active supply so this is how much money you're spending on supplying your current military so in times of peace you're usually going to want to leave that at 30 percent and if you're really struggling for money you'll bring it down to like two percent one percent never put it down to zero because then you guys will starve but so then so that's oops let's get that down 30 so naval spending it's the same thing but for the navy and it doesn't let you go any lower um, and then there's construction spending so to my knowledge this will uh, manage how much money you spend on constructing new units so that would affect the speed of which you can create new units um, though it's pretty irrelevant for creating units if you manually do this stuff but um where's the budget window there we go but it's also responsible for constructing railroads, um, forts, factories, basically anything that needs to be built, that's where you cover it. I usually leave it at 100%. Next is education, education, that, that, social spending, so this is for your unemployment subsidies and pensions, that's all nice. Um, seeing as I'm running a bit of a higher, let's bring that down to 9. Okay. So, I've balanced my budget, I've got a decent surplus going. Um, I'm not going to tinker with this just yet, though I will make it so I'm having more craftsmen. And then, let's look at some RGOs. Okay, so, here we have some sulfur. We've got iron, and we've got coal. So, what I want to do is, I want to go here, and... Because I'm going to focus on my military, I want some ammunition. This requires sulfur and iron. So, now let's look back here. I have both sulfur and iron. Seeing as though I have both of these in this state, it will give me a bonus to my production, to my throughput. So what throughput is, is the amount of stuff you can uh, just run through the factory. So, if I increase my throughput, I can produce more stuff. If I increase my input efficiency, then if I put in 0.9 units of good A, I will get 1 unit of good B. So that's good for driving up profits. If I go for output efficiency, then I will put in 1 unit of good A and get 1.1 units of good B. Uh, and then throughput is 1 unit of good A turns into 2 units of good uh, B. Right? So throughput's very valuable. So because I get that throughput bonus, I'm going to build the factory. Happy days. Now, there is if I had more money, I would build more stuff. Because I have both coal and iron in the same province, uh, sorry, in the same state, I want to build an, a steel factory because that's required for artillery. And also it's required for guns. And then explosives, they require artillery and fertilizer, and fertilizer uh, down here requires sulfur. So using this system, you can build very um, you can build an upward economy, I guess you could say. So you kind of just stack things all in one uh, in one uh, state and build off each other and get those throughput bonuses. Also, railroads increases throughput and that kind of stuff. I'll build railroads in just a minute once I get more money. Okay. So, let's look in...
Let's go. What should I put in? I don't know. Let's just try and get people to build railroads on their own. Actually, no. I'll leave um, the bureaucrats in charge of that. So let's get rid of that and put bureaucrats here so I can increase my stuff. Though I don't really need to, but it's still going to be helpful. Okay. I have set up my industry. I've balanced the budget. I have set up my political party. Now it's time for research. Usually what you're going to want to do is go for idealism, though I don't have access to that. So next you probably want to go for this, though I don't really need it too much because I've got pretty good literacy for starting the game, 60%. So what I'm going to do is either ideological thought or army professionalism because of the fact that I have some decisions which will be very helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Army Professionalism. Start. Next, Diplomacy. You always want to handle your Diplomacy before you click Play. Because currently, no countries have alliances. Or no countries have a Great Power Ally. So currently, I have no Great Power Ally. Russia has no Great Power Ally. Prussia has none. Britain has none, right? Fair enough. So, what I'm going to want to do is look around, because I want to curb Prussia. What Prussia's going to want to do is form Germany. I don't want them to form Germany, because they have to take land from me to do it. And they're probably going to do it, and then they're going to get super powerful. I don't want that. I don't like it. Prussia, not a fan. So, I'm going to want to either ally with Austria, which would be pretty easy, or I want to ally with Russia. Russia's got the number one military, I think. Uh, military? No, they're number two. China's got the number one. But either way, they're stonks, right? I want to have them as an ally. Because we have negative relations, I can't do it. So I have two choices. Either I can go for an alliance with Austria now, though it will be lower quality, or I can risk Russia finding a new ally and increase relations with them until I get up to positive so that I can get an alliance with them. Because currently they won't accept because we have negative relations. This is a problem. So, what I reckon I'll do is I'll risk it. I'm going to go for increase relations. And I only have a certain number of uh, diplom diplomacy points. And once you get down to zero, you can't do stuff. Whew. Okay. What's some other stuff I'm going to want to do? Let's think. I guess I could try and take Belgium out of the British sphere. And because I bought a Belgium and Britain doesn't, it should be a lot easier for me to do it. Okay. So I've got that done. Trade, I don't really care. Pops, army, all that stuff. I think it's looking good. Now is time for army organization. Okay. This is going to be an annoying part and... I don't know. This is a long bloody episode. Jesus Christ, I did not expect this to be so long. Um, well, first of all, let's get rid of these guys. Why? Because it lets me recruit more people that are actually useful. Disband. And then... Uh, disband. Okay, I reckon I'm gonna split this up into two episodes, so um... Yeah, I'm probably going to cut this somewhere, but uh, who knows. <laughs> so, um, I'll see you guys in a second. back this might be a new episode it might be a part of the same episode I don't know okay I'm gonna set up my army and I'll you know I might, I might talk a bit through it I might not I might go over it with some music who knows so man it is okay this is not gonna be released at six <laughs> 
So let's look at this. So one, two, three, four, okay, you go over here. You have one, two, three, four, one, okay. That's nice, you've already got four, you've got one. Let's go here. Okay, I'm just doing this so that I can uh, ferry ships across. Also, let's build a ton of these guys. Boom, one fleet. Perfect. One thing I neglected to mention is these rally points. So, that is an ocean rally point, so that means all the, um, all the ships nearest to this will all rally over here. They'll all come over here, they'll do things, and it's going to be great, trust me. Uh, let's get you guys to move over here. So, okay. I reckon now we will unpause so that I can get my stuff done. Boom. Okay. As you can see, we can now increase this because we changed our economic stuff. We can also, and we're running a huge deficit, which is not fun. We're still going to run a huge deficit either way. We'll take a loan, but then we can repay it later. Uh, let's check if I can build more units. Ah, yes I can. So, I'm going to build more units. So, one, two, three, four horses. I've got two already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Okay, I'm going to want one more horse, I reckon. Get rid of you and make your hussar. Okay, that seems right about right. Let's make Paris the collection point, and let's let things run for a little bit. Also try and increase relations with Russia. Uh, and we've been discredited. Uh, the Papal States, because they're our spear, they're going to ask us for an alliance. Let's go. Uh, what else? Oh, and our economy is doing just fine now. Oh, they're not getting their life needs. Um. Okay. So let's look at some of these, let's put them together, so now they have a Hussar, and so do these guys. They don't, neither do they. What's this guy? Get rid of it! Let's build another cannon. Oh, Venezuela wants an alliance. Sure, why not? What does Venezuela want an alliance for? Are, we, are they in our sphere? No, they're not. Either way, so the British have discredited us, because they're in the British sphere, so that's what this little flag means here. So, 10th of July, so we're not going to do it because it's a losing battle, really. So we're just going to wait. We're going to find someone else to put influence points in, like, yeah, let's put some points into Madagascar. How about that? Oh, colonization. How did I forget? Slipped my mind. What a silly bugger. Let's do some colonizing. So we're going to colonize these little islands out here. There should be something else. First of all, you need a... Should I just disband them? Oh, even more. I'll pick them up later. No, I'm going to disband them. 
Whee! Happy days. Okay. Now, the game's telling me that I'm making too many ships. I know that because this is red. So, what I can do is I can either expand existing ones, or I can build new naval bases. Uh, for example, I can build one... Should I build it here, here, or here? Let's build it the here. Just because I like that one more. Did you write? Uh, it's too late now, but yeah, that, that was a better option. Uh, can I build one here? I will. Perfect. Let's go. And will those ships be ready? They will be ready soon. Actually, I probably should have built steam transports. Whoopsies. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Now let's wait for all of these guys to build. So to speed that along, I'm going to increase my purchases of that and that. As well as this. Oh. As well as the artillery. I don't advise going all the way up. I'm just doing it because why not? See, look, massive deficit. Oh, alliance from... Okay, do they... Are they a great power? So when someone offers you alliance, you should always think, are they a great power? Right? They're not a great power, so I'm going to also let them and I'll also two Sicilies. I think I'll do some influencing in two Sicilies. I will increase relations with Russia, as they shouldn't have a great... Yep, they still don't have a great power ally. Um, Austria, they don't have a great power ally either. So I'm going to do something which is probably going to be pretty OP. Look at my beautiful economy. Austria wants an alliance. Okay, is anyone justifying against Austria? Okay, I'd rather get that alliance with them first. 16th of May, okay, I've got some time, but I really need to focus on doing this. So, when's that? The 8th of May? Oh, I might be able to get it. Oh, I don't have the points, god damn it. Okay. Well, that ran out. So, can I still ally them? Negative relations. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, my economy's starting to come out of the... Oh, Jesus, I have... I need to pay people back. This is why I definitely don't advise buying all the artillery in the world. It's it's not a good economic strategy, but I'm, I'm recovering, and that's what's important. Uh, let's re repay the loan in full, and boom. So now, I don't need to do that. Happy days. Let's send you into there. Oh, Sardinia wants a alliance. Let's go, sure. We love you, Sardinia. We love you. Uh, let's increase relations there. I can go a little longer without this. I just hope they don't get a great power ally anytime soon. Oh, we can now do this. Oh, no we can't. Where's that? Ah, we can turn this into a state, I think. Um, sure, why not? Anyway, cannons. So there's five cannons. I can send them to here. Boom. 
So now I have one complete army stack. This is an attacking army. We know this because it's made up of guards. Fair enough. So, let's move them over to the German border because why not? Wonderful. Uh, let's try and find my influence. Everything's going well. Sardinia Piedmont. Oh, I didn't know I was influencing there. Um, sure, whatevs. I might expand into them later, but I don't know. Two Sicilies. Madagascar. Leave that. Okay. Let's increase. No, I need to wait. Oh, I can do things in my sphere. I can increase. Yay. Oh, I've got more boys. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's remove them from it. Send them down here because they already have a cavalry. Now this is my second army. Hussar, sorry, not cavalry. Let's send them over here because why not? I feel happy. Oh, see this little symbol here means that I've got people who are unemployed. Now how I employ them? I subsidize. Boom. Look at that. Magical. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go there and let's go. So, El de France. First of all, let's build up some railways. Nope, don't have the money. Okay. So, all of my factories are done. Okay, nice. Once again, I'm getting more money. I'm going to lower my tariffs. Be okay, okay. Why do I have such... Whatever. Alliance Portugal accept. Uh, Switzerland, I can, I can increase opinion. Now we're friendly. Happy days. Oh, 21 ships. That's good enough. Let's move them down to here. Whoa, what's this? Okay, so they're three infantry, and then what's this? It's one of those. Well, let's get one of them to go there, and then another one to go there. One, two, three, four. I need another cannon. Oh, perfect. Does he have... No, he doesn't. Okay, so let's get one, two, three, four, and then one of those. Send him there. Boom, perfect. Okay. More being made, happy days. I can build more, huzzah. And I'm probably going to need more, so let's build more. And my economy's going down the toilet once more, but hey, fair enough. Russia! Okay, increase relations. Ah, oh, Jesus. So Russia wants that. Oh, because we're at zero. Oh, epic. So next will be on the 25th of November. I'm just going to have to accept. Okay, so now because I have one great power ally, I'm not going to be able to get another one. So the way that w it works, until later on in the game, you can only have one great power ally. So what I was planning to do was offer them both an alliance at the same time, because then uh, if they both accept, then I have two great power allies and it's pretty overpowered. But um, I, I didn't do that, so you know. Now, we got a second army, five artillery, one hussar, all that jazz.
epic. So let's move him over to the done. Uh, let's look over here. Do I still have that penalty? Um, no, I don't. Let's put more points back in. Uh, let's look at my prios. So that's what these are called, prios. Uh, let's lower all that stuff. Make sure I'm focusing on that. And then we're going to want to go until they discredit us. Oh, something's going on in southern Madagascar. Ah. South Madag... What? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, create. And... So what that does it, it, is it creates a protectorate. Uh, which means basically I own the land. Bananas. Banana. More cannons. Hmm? Why do I have one of these? Oh, okay. Sure. Let's put you in a boat, and let's put you in a boat. Let's put both of you in a boat, too. I can create a protectorate. And let's create another one, once we can. Fair enough. Bananas. How is it that I get that thing again? I think I need... Okay, I'm gonna go for this next because it lets me do some events. Um, decision... Left bank. You need ideological thought. Yep. Let's see how Prussia's going in the influence game against Austria. Um, so, Prussia is friendly, this is not good. So what Prussia needs to form the North German Confederation is this one and this one. I think there's also another one they need a sphere. Ah uh, yeah, Holstein. But it's, it's, hmm, I don't know. I'd say we're still in the green zone when it comes to Prussia forming Germany. We're fine right now, but later on it can get pretty saucy. And I don't want it to get saucy. Because if it gets saucy, then that's bad for me, because that's a saucy Germany. Okay, let's combine you guys, get in the goddamn boat, and you guys can get in the boat too. Boom, in, and go over here. No, go there. Yay! Boom. Okay, all these guys are taking attrition. That's bad. Let's move them away so they don't. And put you there. Oh, I can do more stuff in my sphere. Uh, Belgium. Oh, stuff would be... Okay... I'm gonna want to cancel this because if they get too high on the uh, infamy, then they uh, sorry, on the um, can my phone stop buzzing? <sighs> With the influence, then they can ban me. So I want them to stop. Stop, please. Thank you. And how much does it cost to do this? It costs 50. So let's poke them a little bit, and then. Okay, cool, they discredit us. Um, I don't care, let him be. I actually want him to exist. Okay, so... Now, I'm just going to wait. No, stop doing things. Britain. Okay, lines from Switzerland. Uh, Belgium, I can do things. I'm not going to do anything right now, though. Sardinia, I want to add to Sphere. Yay! Madagascar, Madagascar's fine. Switzerland, Switzerland's fine. Austria, 
I don't know, I guess we can increase relations. Doesn't really matter. Let's keep going. Everything's all good. I am making a hell of a profit, so I'm going to lower my tariffs to let my industry thrive a little bit more. Yeah, sure. Make good paper mill, I guess. Uh, actually, it was a production thing, so I'm producing much ammunition. Nice. Uh, where is it? Factories. I'm going to produce more soon. Might as well make a... Actually, speaking of making factories, let's do... Small arms. Steel. Uh, artillery. Explosives. And... Then fertilizer. So, the fertilizer will help with the construction of explosives. Well, okay, so the sulfur will help make fertilizer. The fertilizer helps make uh, explosives. Explosives help make this. This, which uh, because of we both have um, the coal and iron in the province, will help make this. This helps us make this and this. And all that kind of stuff. So basically, you just want to kind of get that pyramid of stuff where everything's um, helping each other out. Let's make, okay, What what's farmed in the capital? Just a ton of wheat. So we could make a alcoholic factory, though I'd rather not. Um, let's think, what could I put in? Canned food? Hmm. I think a canned food factory in Normandy would be better. No, that's all uh, cotton. So actually, cotton. Um, I could make clothes. I could make fabric. That's what I wanted. I'll make fabric, and then I'll make clothes. Regular clothes. And then I can make luxury clothes. Even though I don't have that, I've still got this pretty good. Um, I might actually make it somewhere else, though. Um, let's see. Fish and wheat, that's good. Uh, oh, this is perfect. So this has fish, cattle, and wheat. That has all but one thing that I need to create uh, canned food, which is iron. Is there any provinces with all the same stuff? No, so I'm going to make my canned food here. Canned food, because it mostly uses this stuff. So that means I'll get more of a production stuff. Anyway, I no, I'm not dead yet. Okay, cool. Belgium, fancy. Um, anything going on here? Nothing. Me and Russia are besties for resties. Oh, I should be influencing them. So I'd rather just conquer them. Justify. Uh, conquest. 22 infamy. Rather not. But I would like to have Algeria as my thing, because then that gives me access to the interior. But most of this stuff is just meh. Like, there's no good RGO in here. Like, it's, it's all just fairly meh. It's more so down here that you want stuff, so uh, if I ever go to war with Britain, I'm going to take this from them. If I go to war with Denmark, uh, sorry, Netherlands, I'm going to take this, Denmark that. I want to try and limit uh, their access to it while making mine better. Whee, I've got stuff. Uh, still only three cannons, let's change that. Four cannons. Look at that. I don't think I needed as many hussars. I 
So what's with this? Uh, yeah, they'll regroup later. Let's let's build more stuff here. Um, liquor factory, maybe. I built a glass factory. Age of Liberalism. Huzzah! So, three infantry, one artillery. Okay, how many more artillery do I have? Three. Okay, that's not enough. Uh, I don't know. Big sexy navy. Hmm. I think if I get two nice in, I can uh, annex them. Uh, left bank, Lena, Panama, Suez. I don't know. I'm curious of what that does. I don't know though. Uh, I would like to justify a conquest. Actually, are they friendly with anyone? No, they're not. Do they have any allies? No, they do not. Justify, conquest. Ooh, that will get me a lot of infamy. 22. Okay, I'm going to risk it for now. Let's see. So, basically, how it works is that, um... So, if I was... So, I'm justifying right now. Currently, no one knows. If I get caught, then I will gain infamy. So, if I got caught when I was at 0% of this, like right away, then I'll get the full 22% infamy. If I got caught when I was halfway through, I'll get 11 infamy, because it's half of that. So, yeah. I think it's fairly self-explanatory. Ah, uh, there we go, I was caught immediately. God fucking damn it. Uh, Madagascar. In my ballet. Now what else? Belgium. I am still stuck until the fourth of Augustus. One, two, three, four. Send you guys. Whoops. One, two, three, four. And then you guys also need a cavil. If I can get them to go there. Whoa. What's going on? So five, one, five, oh, okay. I've got an extra. Infantry, what are you doing? Now, let's put you on a boat, as well as another one of your armies. Let's bring you over here. Let's also bring my navy over here. I should probably, I should have explained uh, how CBs work. So a CB is a Casus Belli, so that's what I'm justifying for, is a Casus Belli, and it allows you to declare war on countries. I'll talk more about it the next time I get a CB. If I remember. Colonial policy debate. Your mum's a colonial policy debate. <clears throat> Original, I know.
Oh, I should probably make a uh, base. Boom. Let's make another one. Oh, I can't. Why is that? Is it a part of... Oh, it's a part of province. Huh. What RGO does it have? Fish? Uh, I might... Oh, that, do that doesn't produce much, so I'm not gonna... Industrial... Now that I've got more money, let's do a wine factory and a beer factory. Paris Drunkards. Let's see, what's their military at? So they have six military techs, and I only have five, I think. Yep, so they have one more military tech than me. Meaning that they're going to be a bit more effective. Let's see, military tactics, they're at 50%. Yep, so it was army professionalism, so they've finished that. They have 55 brigades, I have 62. So currently, um, me and Prussia, we're pretty even. If you include Russia, then we beat them. They're, li they're allied with Britain, though. God damn it. I was hoping Britain wouldn't do anything, but whatever. That's annoying. Increase. Uh, new factory. Ivory mining. Who cares? Whoopsie. They're both on top of each other. I do not want that. That's bad. Wait, who am I sending? No. You... Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Maybe thing. Maybe thing. More liberal, sure. I don't really care too much. Oops. Uh, Jacobin Uprising. What? What? Let's look in my movements. I still have no movements, that's good. Belgium. Uh, August. Yes, it's over. Okay. So, now I'm gonna punch right into them. Uh, I don't need any more in there. So let's just focus on Belgium. Let's ignore... No, that's fine. Yeah. So most of my prior points are going to Belgium. Okay, they've finally realized, and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. If I had the uh, diplomacy points, I would increase my relations, but I can't. Okay, so soon they should, just wait, it's a 25, okay, soon they should do a thing to me, um, alliance offer from Denmark, I accept, increase relations, uh, sorry, increase opinion, yup, and now we're going to want to get them to spend their points, come on, discredit me, oh, pause the game. Okay, they're not discrediting me. This is bad. So, next I'm going to want ideological thought because it lets me do things. But this, where is it? So, what does that require? That requires army professionalism. And what does it do? Prestige for the rest of the game and immigrant attractiveness. Nice. Um, let's actually look at migration. Not much. Fair enough. Decisions, show wars, show justifications, all fine.
Come on, man. Okay, let's get rid of that. I don't need that many people unemployed. Instead, I should be focusing on this as it's a... When's that finish? 88 days. Let's leave that. Okay. Let's prepare this by putting some clergymen in the thing. Clergymen are currently going pretty well there. What are you talking about? So when you're generating a CB, um, you'll get events which basically increase or decrease the speed of which you get the cast spell eye. Uh, one thing I do advise if you're new to the game, um, is in like fresh, like baby bottom new, um, I advise watching uh, another tutorial. This is, like, though I did go quite in depth, I think it's easy to get an overview and then come here. Probably should have said that earlier, but you know. I'm not going to be able to produce any more troops. I can produce that and that. So, I'm curious, what's my uh, citizenship? It's limited, isn't it? Oh, it's residency. Huh. Peace, so war justification, it will be there in 100 days. Cool. Let's increase speed. Oh, Spain's meddling. So, because Spain's also trying to get in, what I can do is I can discredit Spain, and I'll still have more points in them, so happy days. Sardinia Piedmont, why are you trying to do anything in there, you little Ottoman Empire? Uh, they don't allow foreign investment, goddammit. Okay, mobilization impact, fair enough. Okay, let's just boom, get everything going. Those railways. So what railways do is one, I think they increase the uh, the speed of which your guys move through a uh, province. But two. Uh, they help with industry and throughput and stuff. Or just oh, 60 days. Last. Whoops. Let's expand. Also, let's build some forts here. 
Russia, what's your military tech like? Five. Okay, I've got my Casus Bella. So, uh, first of all, they're on Civ, so I'm going to easily be able to take them on. Uh, what kind of area they're in? They're in a plains. Okay, this is perfect. So, before the war starts, what I'm going to want to do is raise my military spending. Second is I want to move my fleet into position. What this will do is it will blockade them, which will give me extra war, war score, which will make it easier for me to um, beat them. So we're going into war mode, we're spending more money, they're gaining, yep, see they just went from 29 to 30, and all this stuff's going up. These do expire by the way, so don't hold them for too long, so it expires at the 14th, which is next year, and that doesn't really matter. Oh, so, you know what, let's wait until the 20th of June, my birthday. Oh, 21st. Whatever. Good enough. Declare. Conquest. We can do this on our own. Declared war in Algeria. Mine. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, where's their capital? I want to siege it down. It's over here. Oh, they sent some boys over. How cute. And I just gained two war score. And I need that. Fair enough. Usually most people wouldn't do this. I just I just like borders. <laughs> That's my excuse. I just like borders. Yeah, that's right. You run. The twelfth. Okay, go here. And then oh, you're suffering attrition. Let's do that and then take you out. The colonies, or... Oh, no, I don't want war exhaustion. Oh, Switzerland, add sphere. And then Tunis. Um, increase opinion. We will be chunky France. A logical thought, let's go. So what's this? Railroads? Can I cancel? Make it so... Don't show me construction. Okay. Influence. Very nice. Papal states. Let's ramp stuff up in there. Priors. Uh, take it out to Sicilies. Well, that's fine. Now this stuff is getting pretty nice. Jacobins, Dillon stuff. Oh, let's look. Factories. Yay! Okay, now let's go for that. Boom. Now what we should see is more and more people going into here. May take a bit. Wish I, how do you see how much uh, literacy each state has? I don't think you can, though. Let's look, Pops. Um, what state is it? French commit. Commit, so... Laborers, but what about literacy? Okay, no clue. Wait, diplomacy, wait, Russia, okay, so three cannons, can I make more cannons, I can make more cannons, yay, well, it's the misses, but um, I guess we can leave the episode there. Oh, I've been ignoring this. What do you know? Uh, that might be the episode. I don't know. I'm just recording in bulk, man. <laughs> See you.